hello welcome to witch on fire here on my youtube channel my name is Perrin michelle and i haven't done a video in a long time so i thought i would just say hello again and uh, show my new outdoor shrine that i've been building i did something a little different this year i uh, took this old uh, family heirloom cast iron kettle is what my great grandmother used to call it it's a cauldron it'd been sitting out here on my patio not doing much i i inherited it from my grandmother and when we I uh, took it from her house. It had been a begonia flower pot for my whole life and so there were some little holes drilled in the bottom of it to make sure that those would drain. So it couldn't really be used to hold water anymore and I've just had it out here looking for a reason to use it. I've caught snow in it before for magical purposes but in this case I wanted something for my shrine to have a little bit more of a roof over it to, to keep the, the items shielded from rain just a little bit because last year they were just they were just out on the stones where at the base of my guardian tree. If you'd like to look up and see my guardian tree. It's a tulip poplar associated with Saturn energy. And um, anyway, so this time I turned it on its side in the crook of the bottom of the tree and um, had it sort of down in some dirt in some of this uh, heavy grit sand that I got at the uh, Agri Supply. And then I put a little bit of that sand down into the bottom of it to level it out. And then I built the stones up around it. And it's really just a dry stack of stones at the base of the tree and the sand. And in it, you'll see there's a mirror here. There's a mirror and a ceramic um, mirror surround that was made by my partner's grandmother of a tree and I like the mirror because you can always see yourself in the altar as the divinity that you are reminds that you're also divine in there I've also got a statue of a heron that was given to me by a student that I love and my my chalice as a representation of water and the goddess also a um, a bit of uh, deer antler, deer shed, the two prongs, which reminds me of uh, the light and the dark half of the wheel of the year, and also the horned god, my candle, which I can't keep lit right now. I've got a Saraswati as a representation of the goddess, a heron feather, this um, pentacle box, which I have some sand in, little open work box that I have some incense rose incense going a gratitude stone and beautiful things got a conch shell little golden ratio there and a, a lapidolite sphere got some moss planted and some begonias and primroses so yeah And my black kitty cat, Mad Madam Mim, coming to visit. So here I am out at my shrine. This is under Guardian Tree where I do a lot of my warmer months meditations and journaling. And I spend my mornings out here having coffee and communing with the elements and divinity. And just hanging out with my cat. I've got a bunch of black kitties, but this is my mom. She was born on Halloween. Anyway, so that's that's the shrine. I have different things in my shrine all the time. Every year I set it new. If I have an offering to put out, I'll leave it in this little red plate. If um, if I have any workings that need to, to sit on an altar for a while, I'll bring them out here. And I mean, I have an indoor altar, obviously, but I, I like this one better. Anyway, so that's the introduction to my outdoor shrine inside my family heirloom black iron kettle uh, or cauldron on its side and a um, little bit of sand in there to level it out and that gives a little roof. Um, I remember my grandmother telling me that it was her grandma's old washing kettle. I think she did laundry in it outside over a fire back in the day, but that's just kind of a family legend at this point. 
the very least I remember the beautiful red begonias that my grandmother used to, to grow in hers in the backyard of her house and that is a, a beautiful family memory and it helps me feel connected to my my maternal line especially so thanks see you next time bye